today I went out and bought um, some new upgrades. My computer, as you can see, I bought the i3. Let me see, sorry. 2130, the socket LGA1155. I bought the ASUS motherboard P8H61M, which will ho which will um, house my Intel processor. You might be thinking i3, what the hell are you doing about? But I had a budget, a pretty tight budget actually. Um, that's all I had. To, that's all I could get. Sorry. It's a big improvement over my um my Intel Pentium that I got right now, so it's, it's alright. Alright, um, the, the component, oh, there's stuff, and I'm getting oh, 4 gigabytes of NCP Platinum. I don't know what speed, I know it's DDR3, but I'm no, don't, not sure, I'm not sure what speed it is, um, to be honest with you, it doesn't say anywhere, but yeah. That is the components we will be housing, housing, housing them in this. Yep, that's old. That's why I needed to get this upgrade in the tangle of things over there. Um, that's the actual. That is the actual um case and stuff we're putting it. We're keeping the everything else except for the CPU, CPU cooler, motherboard, and RAM. Obviously, this DDR2 RAM will not fit in our new motherboard because. DDR3 motherboard, so we will be swapping them out, but we're keeping the um, the graphics card because we do not have enough money yet um, for a new one. Uh, I'll probably just do snippets. I'll probably won't do all the long, boring parts. If this is too long, just bear with me. It might be like 15 minutes, but yeah. Okay, um, so I have this uh, my old computer propped up onto my desk. Um, uh, what you have to do with this is you have to, actually it's too dark there, sorry. What you have to do to take the motherboard out is you have, you have screws, oh, I'm sorry about this guys. Don't have very good lightning in this room. Um, the screws in this, that you need to take out, and because this is the, this is a full size motherboard, and that motherboard is actually, I think it's ITX, I'm not sure, it's smaller though. So I need to reposition these standoffs. That'll be interesting. I won't show that. That's boring and slow. Let's give you an update. And I'll be back with the actual uh, This is the I/O ports. You have PS2. They're not connected. Keyboard and mouse. They're just separate keyboard. I don't know which one's which. I don't use PS2. VJ output won't be using that. Um, one, two, three, four USB 2.0 ports. Ethernet, and I believe that's a 2.1. I don't know, it's, I don't think it's around sound, it might be. But anyway, um, we'll get on to the tricky bits, uh, not the tricky bits, the important bits of building a computer. I'm sorry, it's shaky. Hopefully you guys can see that well enough. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, first of all, we will install the RAM. I like to do this first because it's the easiest, it's quickest, and it's honestly any idiot can do it. This is my RAM. As I showed you before, Boop. platinum. I don't know what speed again. Um, I might be able to find it somewhere. I just have one stick because that's all I could afford right now. And it's all I uh, sorry about sorry about that, guys. Um, my thing ran out of battery again, but should be fine now. It shouldn't cut out. I hope. I charge it for a while. Um, but again, I will show you. I put in the RAM. Some of the boards uh, have these two, both of these pull back and both of these clip back in. Um, some one stays in the same place, but in this one, both of them come out. Uh, doesn't really matter if you have. Sometimes if you have uh, RAM slots, if there's four, it'll be color coded. So this one's not. I only have two slots for them. Um, that's kind of the, one of the. Uh, Drawbacks of having a cheap motherboard, um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't really need it um, more than two, anyways. Um, so what it is, um, if it, there's usually four, they'll either be color coded like white or another color or something like along the lines of that, or black on another color. The colored ones usually you put in first, but this one doesn't even matter. So 
is. Um, and this is the RAM that I bought. You see there's a notch, it's not quite in the middle, it's kind of somewhere to that, to, sorry, to that side. So you find the notch on here, and then you just simply slide it in. It'll take a bit of force, I don't know why people are saying they have to use so much force, but that, that's in right now. That's, that's how you do that. So that's how you ram it's in. I don't know why people say it takes so much force. Um, I'll turn this around right now. I'll show you how to put it in the CPU. Just get a good view of that. Try what's terrible. I wasn't going to get a new motherboard, but uh, just the new CPU, and I was going to get a Core 2 Quad instead of an i3, but yeah, anyways, there's this latch, you pull that down, pull it to the side, it should flip up, should lean back, and that should come up like that. This is for LG 1155, there are other ones, and then there's this little socket here that you need to take out. Um, you do need to be very careful with the CPU and taking out of the socket and then you see all those little pins in there if you can see them the greatest camera but just on there and there as you can see that um, and it's not just on the little CPU as well so that'll also help you so it goes in this way it goes in this way so yeah a little cutout must be here oh yeah I can see that now um, okay so I put this in very carefully no pressure, no pressure at all, as you can see there's little, you can see a notch there on the side, that'll match up with the two notches on each side, like this, um, and you slowly lower it in, very very carefully, make sure everything's lined up, then you just gently drop it in, no force needed, I know you can kind of wiggle it around a little bit, if you think it's in properly, and close the latch, um, Close this latch. What? what the hell's going on here? Ah, it didn't hook into there. I see. Like, what the hell? It should be very, very tight. It should do not. And that is the CPU itself installed. Um, now, what I'll do is I'll get this cooler out. The motherboard, everything in. I've got the standoffs, but I haven't screwed them in yet. But Screwing them in, you just have these screws and you screw them into the designated holes. Really not a big deal. I do that off camera. I just thought I'd show it in the case. It's a very big case compared to the motherboard. Um, the other one was, this motherboard is very small actually. Very small. I'm not used to it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's my new motherboard. I've cleaned up some of the dust around here. I wish I had the blower, but I do not. Um, I'll have everything, I'll have it all thing. I'll have all the wires hooked up into it, hopefully, um, and then I'll give you an update and we'll see if it works. Okay, um, okay. So, I plugged it in, turned it on, have all these connectors, and that, this, this, this is the annoying part, connecting all these little connectors down here. This is the annoying part. <laughs> I got it over and it works, they all work, the front LED, buttons, reset, everything works on the front. This cord out of the road. Um, you can see you have these little gaps in the back. I've already pre-put them there. They are just for um, the card, the back of the card, to go through the back and into the outside. So you have these connectors here. If you can see them. Doesn't really matter if you touch them. They still work. Um, so mine goes in like this. It's only PCI, so I can't go two graphics cards. Um, Slide it in the back, make sure it all fits, and then push down. With this old, that should be in. With this old thing, even though it's old, um, it does still have this little, it does have these, which are really handy, so you don't need, you don't actually need the screws, you can just clamp them down. It's not going anywhere. Although I'm not, I'm not going to get these.